So I've made it. I'm in Malaysia. I'm here in Kuala Lumpur. Woo! Right, I'm out and about. I've checked out the hotel. It's pretty impressive buildings everywhere here. I'm We are Danny and Diggy, an English-Polish couple from the UK. We have quit our jobs to follow our dream of exploring Thailand for the next year. If you love good food, views, beaches, and want to see more of this beautiful country, join, join us, us on, on our, our journey. journey. Right, first things first, I need to find money. I just come across another problem. My SIM card doesn't seem to be working here at all. So I have to read the maps old school. I did download one before I got here. I think I know how to get to my accommodation. So let's go and find out. Let's get some money first. Yay, I got money, I got money. Right, let's go. There's a train I need to catch now. I think it's 55 ringgit and that will take me right to KL Central. And then there's a metro system I can jump on, which will, I need to get two more metros after that. So let's go find this train to get in to Kuala Lumpur Central. Let's go. Hey, I found it. It wasn't too hard. So it's on level two. I just need to go and buy a ticket now. Ticket count is here. Let's grab a ticket and get into Kuala Lumpur Central. Right, all done. It's kind of works the same as in Bangkok. You get your ticket, you beep it on the counter, and you put it in when you exit. So, quite simple, quite easy. It's easy to find as well, which is good. Ooh, it's here now, gotta go. <laughs> Made it, I'm on. This is quite nice actually. I think I'm on this one for... Well, I read 25 minutes, I think. We'll see. Hopefully we'll get some sights on the way, maybe. I'm not sure if this is overground or underground. I'm not too sure. We'll see in a second. But yeah, time here now is nearly nine o'clock. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do today. I may just go out exploring tomorrow. We'll see what I feel like once I try and find my hotel, because as I said, I've got no internet. And I'm not buying a SIM card for one day. So we can do it old school. We'll find a way, don't worry. <laughs> so off to the next train. I think this is like the MRT or it might be like the Sky Train. So let's go find out. I've got two more to catch now. Hopefully be there soon. I haven't even been outside yet. I've been inside these places all the time. So let's go. Right, doing well so far guys. Got my ticket, next one. Very easy, it's the same basically as when we're in Thailand. Put the money in, get your token, go through the counters, let's go. So hopefully on the last one now, I've been on the train, been on the Sky Train, and now I'm on the MRT. And I didn't have to pay when I came down. I think I pay when I exit. We'll find out in a minute. How cool is that? You can see out the front. How cool is that? You can actually see out the front of the metro. I've never seen that before. You stand right at the front. Where's the driver? <laughs> I haven't actually seen that outside yet, so this is my final stop. So I should be able to walk to the hotel from here. It should be about 10 minutes if I don't get lost, because I have no map. <laughs> yeah, so this is pretty cool. It actually tells you which exit to get out. So I need to go down here. So exit A. Let's go. So I made it out. It's the first time actually seeing outside. Check this out. It's all lit up. Yeah, it looks quite cool, but I'm not too sure exactly where I'm going yet. I think I need to go across here. 
Let's go. Hopefully. Alright, this is like quite a cool area. I've just noticed that one of the main <laughs> one of the main malls is just to the left of me or behind me. You see it over here. And obviously the food street is near here as well, so there should be lots of food. And it's right near the metro as well, so really good area picked here. But it's about a 20 minute walk to get to the Petronas Towers, which hopefully I'll go and see tomorrow. So let's wait for these lights to change, get across this road, find the hotel, check in, and we'll take it from there. Sorry guys, I'm not talking much, I'm taking it all in, having a good look around. There's lots to look at, it's quite busy around this area. Lots of malls, you have McDonald's if you want McDonald's. And I have checked, I am walking the right way. So in theory, I should be there very soon. But yeah, lots going on here, it's quite cool. It's all lit up at night, so it'll be interesting to see what it looks like in the day. But for now, I can smell lots of food. I smell a load of, it smells like donuts. I'm actually quite hungry. I only ate uh, breakfast this morning and I only had a snack on the plane. So I do need some food, but I'm quite tired at the minute. I've been traveling all day and wandering around Phuket trying to sort all the stuff out which you know about. So let me turn you around. You can have a look at what's going on around here. Lots of fruity places here. Yeah, so there's some certain dishes I want to try while I'm here as well. So we should go and look for them tomorrow. And what I'm going to do is just make my way to, I think, two or three spots in Kuala Lumpur. And then along the way, we just find stuff along the way. If there's something interesting, we'll stop and have a look. Right, I'm looking out for my hotel. I just need to check my directions again, make sure I'm going the right way. Just give me a sec, I'll be back. <laughs> Whoops, it's going the wrong way. I need to go back up and go left. So, my map reading needs a bit of polishing up since I last read the map. Believe it or not, I used to be in the army, I used to be in the Boy Scouts, and I'm still getting lost. I haven't got my navigator diggy here. I'm missing diggy. It's a strange feeling about myself. Oh, just seen 7 Eleven. Yes, they have 7 Elevens here. Yay! I don't want to get so excited about it, but it's just handy. If I need to get water, some snacks. So that's good. They have that here. Looks like I'm in the right area if I need some trainers. Jesus, no! So, found my hotel. It's right behind me. So, let's go and check in. It's like 10 now, 10 o'clock, half past 10. And yeah, it's a nice area here. It surprised me around here. It's very, that uh, sounds funny, but very well lit up. It's quite clean as well, actually. I'm surprised. It's quite nice, I like it. I think I'm gonna enjoy exploring tomorrow. So let's go check in and get settled in. Sorry about the lights, can't do much about it. That was a bit of a surprise. I just walked in and the bed's literally right in front of you. So I'm gonna stand in the corner just to show you. Quickly, give you a little room tour. That would be a quick one, because it's tiny. There's a door. There's the bed. There's a TV. You have your fridge here. Tea, coffee, free water. And let's check out the bathroom quickly. Oh, lights are on. Oh, not that bad. A waterfall shower. You can probably sit in the toilet and have a shower at the same time. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty small. But for me, perfect. Everything's nice and clean here. That's the main thing you want from a hotel. Clean bedding, clean sheets. And this hotel is really new because it's still got the cellophane on everything. If I look at the TV, I'll show you. 
So let's unpack, get settled in a second, and I'll catch you in a minute. Right, I'm out and about. I've checked out the hotel. Uh, first things first, I need a drink, because I'm thirsty. And yeah, not a great night, it didn't feel too good. I've still got a banging headache now. I think it's just for moving around too much. So I'm not gonna race around today. I don't have much time here. There is a few things I wanna see. So let's get to it, let's get going. Let's grab a drink first, let's go. Yeah, so this is the Jinalaw area. But as you can see, there's loads of stalls, but this place is mainly open at night. So for now, there's not much open, but I just want to come down and have a look. Oh, you can smell Dorian everywhere. You can't mistake that smell. <laughs> Let's go down further, go walk right to the end, and we'll have a look. But I don't think there's anything here that I really want to eat. I really fancy like a proper nasi lemak. Something proper Malaysian. So let's keep looking. Yeah, so loads of restaurants down here, but half of them are closed right now. So I think this is mainly open in the evening. I just wanted to come and see, and see if there's something I could eat down here. But I don't think so. We'll look for something else, somewhere else. So let's keep wandering around. This area, Bukit Batang, where we're staying. It's quite cool. I quite like it. I think it'll be a lot better in the evening now. Just wandered around and saw some street art, so I'm just gonna go check it out. Let's have a look. Still in the same area. Ah, this is quite cool. Look what I found here. This whole street side. It's all graffiti, it looks quite cool. Let me show you. Yeah, every bit is painted here. Even the glass windows have been painted. Ah, look. They paint the whole lot, even the extraction units are painted, but it looks really cool. This is just next to the street I was just in, Jalan Alor. Something to look at if you're around the area. Look, even the floor is painted. I'm walking on the river. <laughs> simple things, eh? Please, simple people. But now it's quite cool. Come and check it out if you're in Jalan Alor. It's right next door, the street next door. Right, let's stop messing around. Still need to find some food. Let's go. And I need to see one of the most iconic buildings here in Kuala Lumpur because That'd be a mistake if I didn't go and see if I come all this way. It has to be done. So I need to find my way. My maps are down. I have to do this all by myself somehow. I will find my way, don't worry. Ooh, more street art. Pretty funky. Oh, it's like a whole yellow street. Check this out. Check out these air vents. They've actually been made into snails. <laughs> How cool is that? And the ones on the other side? They made it into snakes to incorporate into the picture. So colorful here and bright. And the street goes all the way down. So cool. Right, I'm gonna have to stop and take some pictures on my phone. I love just wandering around. So I found this street by accident. All this. But yeah, just wander around, get lost. I am getting lost because I don't have my phone. But it's giving another way to see things we wouldn't normally see. So I need to head towards the MRT now. I think I'm going the right way. I'm not too sure. It's pretty impressive buildings everywhere here. I'm on the way to the Petronas Towers, 
Well, check out behind me. Look at the size of that one. I, think, I can't even get it in the camera. On the way to the Petronas Towers now, it's the one thing I wanted to come and see when I was here. So, should be there in around 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm just coming out of the metro now, but I'm not too sure which exit to take. So, I've been looking up, <laughs> straining my neck to look up. So, I think I come out of the right one because I think I've just had a glimpse of the towers. Right to the left of me here. Now I need to find the proper viewpoint. I think it's from the other side. I really don't know how to get there. Shopping centre here as well. We should go and have a look at. Right, I'm not too sure I'm going, so I'm going to wing it. I'm going to run through the centre of this shopping mall and hopefully it'll pop me out the other side. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. The shopping malls here in Kuala Lumpur are quite impressive as well. Really as big as Bangkok, if not bigger. Well, this one is, but I'm going to spend a lot of time here because I need to try and find the other side. <laughs> I've just noticed that this actual shopping mall is right below the tower, so I'm actually going to pop out and they're right above me now. But I want to get a good view, so let's get to the end and have a look. It's not too busy here, actually. I thought it'd be more busy. But Oh, yeah, I can just about see it now. <laughs> Quick glimpse for you. Quick look. Not good. Thunder. I can feel rain. So I might not be able to wander around much longer. I don't have a jacket. But you hear that? <laughs> but this is a place I want to show you because this is one of the gardens on the other side of the towers. They do a light show here every night from 7 till 10 every half an hour. It's called the Symphony Light Show. So let me show you quickly. If you want a nice photo in the evening with the towers in behind, come to this park here. Right, I'll show you. So yeah, you can see this is where the fountain show is. And it is free, but look at the view up there though. When it's all lit up at night, it's going to be quite cool. Jesus, can you hear that? There's thunder. I did see a bit of lightning just now. I think it might pour it down in a minute, so I've got to be quick and get back inside. This park is quite nice, actually. But yeah, come here at night. So, taking my selfies and seeing the towers. Now, I'm not too sure what to do. It's going to go for a wonder. I haven't got a long left until I have to get my flight back. This is a very short visit. So, we have to come back here and do Kuala Lumpur justice and come with Diggy as well. It's quite lonely being by yourself actually, I found. And it doesn't seem quite as much fun by yourself as well. I'd much rather Diggy was here with me. But yeah, it's really impressive. Huge, but it, me, <laughs> it makes me dizzy when I keep looking up. But the buildings around this central area here are absolutely huge. Woohoo! <laughs> right. Let's go for a wander. There is a park nearby. I might try and find a park if I can. It's not too far to walk, I think. So, let's go. Well, that's ruined my plans. I was going to head back to Bukit Butang and get some food. But, as you can see, it's peeing it down. And I don't have any rain gear at all. I'm just for Thailand. 
So, I've only got like an hour left. So I might head back to the airport now. Oh, lightning. <laughs> hey, I'm back at the airport. So, I realize this is quite a bit of a boring vlog probably. Uh, the weather turned on us. I wasn't feeling great. But we did get to see the KL Towers, so I'm happy with that. But the main thing now is, will I get back into Thailand? This is what I'm worrying about. So hopefully, when I next see you, I should be in Thailand. Back home, yay! <laughs> Yeah, so it's good we left when we did leave from the centre of Kuala Lumpur because the train was delayed. I actually got off at the wrong stop as well on one of them. So I maybe might not have made it on time. But luckily I have, I'm here. Let's get through the last security checkpoint and get on that plane back to Thailand. So guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm back in Bangkok, they let me in. I must have had the strictest security person ever who's checking everything. But I'm in, I've spoken a bit of Thai to him, he's really happy. So, this is kind of a weird vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. We might not even post it yet. <laughs> no, we will probably. It's all a bit wrong, but it's nice getting insight to what we're doing in between normal life. And yeah, it is now half past 12, and it's a different kind of vlog. It might be a bit boring, I'm not too sure, but. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!